Hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining how to use and cite free vector icons like this car icon here. Here is an infographic I made about one of my units that I teach. I want to add some professional vector icons to make the infographic look a little nicer. So go ahead and create a new Google drawing and follow along with me. First go to flaticon.com. Then you will go to the search bar at the top and type in your keywords. For my example, my infographic is about a unit where students invent toys. So I will type in toys. Here you will find single icons or collections. I recommend using collections so you don't have to cite too many authors. Go ahead and click the view more link. Choose a collection you like. Here you will find that the author of these icons is Freepik. That is the person I will give credit to. Before we do that, we will need to download the collection of icons by clicking download pack. This will send a zip file to your download folder. Click on the zip file and a folder will appear. Open the folder, then open the PNG folder. Here you will find all your icons. I'll go ahead and adjust my Chrome windows. Then add the icons I want to my infographic. Adjust the sizing for each icon. I want one icon in the background. The resolution of the icon will be very pixelated, so I will make it a bit transparent. To do this, right click on the icon and go to Image Option. Then make the adjustment in Transparency. Now it is time to give our author credit. Create a text box near the icon and then type icon designed by the author's name. In this case, it is freepick. And then from flaticon.com. I would need to do this for all my icons, but since I use the icons from one author, I will put the text box in the corner and add an S on icon. Now it says icons designed by free pick from flaticon.com. Alright, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching and good luck class.